Hey guys, here we are again. This is Mrs. Alday, Algebra 2 General, Charles High School, Section 6-6. This is Part 2 of 6-6, and this is the second video of Part 2. So you're either doing this in your spiral composition notebook, or you've actually made a copy of these notes, and you're writing on the notes themselves. All right, we're going to get started. We were doing compositions of functions, and so now we're going to continue it using equations. So we're going to start with, they want us to do a composition of f of x and g of x. But remember, since g of x is closest to the x, that's the one we're going to do first. So this is what g of x is. You're going to take that, and you're going to insert it into the f of x problem. So you're going to take the g of x, which is x squared, and you're going to insert it where you see the x and the f of x problem. So that's going to be x squared minus 5. All right, so that's your answer for the first part. That was the, the composition of f and g of x. All right, I'll do a different color for the second part, which is this one. I'm going to write this out this time. The composition of g and f of x. Since f of x is closest, we're going to take the f of x and insert it into the g of x. So the f of x is x minus 5. And when I insert it into the g of x, my x minus 5 is going to be squared. Now, I don't know if you need to go off to the side and do x minus 5 times x minus 5 and do FOIL or not. What I do with this problem, because it's a quick step, is you take the x and you square it. You take the negative 5 and you square it. And then you take the x and the negative 5 and you multiply them by each other. And that's negative 5x. And then you double that. So that's negative 10x. So your answer for that one is x squared minus 10x plus 25. And your answer for the previous composition was x squared minus 5. All right, let me erase this so I have some room. I will make copies of these available to you in case you miss something or you need to go back and get it. All right, so let's go to the next one. We're going to do a composition of f and g of x. All right, g of x is closest, so we're going to start with it. So we are going to do, we're going to input the g of x, which is 3x minus 1, into the f of x. So that's going to go where you see the x is at. So that's going to be 3x minus 1 squared plus 2 times 3x minus 1. So we have a little bit more work we're going to have to do in this one. So you can do the 3x minus 1 squared um, like foil if you like to do that, or you can do it the way that I showed you a while ago that we could do it. So I'm going to do it that way. I'm going to do 3x squared, and that's going to be 9x squared. And then I'm going to multiply 3x times negative 1 and get negative 3x. Then I'm going to double it and get negative 6x. And then I'm going to do negative 1 squared, which is 1. So I squared 3x minus 1. Now I'm going to distribute the 2. 2 times 3x is 6x. And 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. All right. So now I am going to combine like terms. So we have 9x squared. Our negative 6x and our positive 6x cancel out. They zero out. And then 1 minus 2 is negative 1. So that's our answer whenever we take g of x and we plug it into the f of x. All right, now I don't have a lot of room right there, so I'm going to go over here to the left and do the second part. We did the first part. I circled it in red. I'm going to do the second part in blue. But I'm doing, I'm doing b. I'm not doing a. I just need room. So we're going to take a composition of g and f of x, since f of x is written first. That's what we're going to plug into the g of x. So I'm going to take f of x, which is um, x squared plus 2x, and I'm going to plug it into the g of x. So x squared plus 2x. All right, my g of x is 3x minus 1, so I'm going to plug it in where you see the x. So 3 times x squared plus 2x minus 1. All right, we're going to distribute the 3, and we're going to get 
3x squared plus 6x minus 1. We don't have any like terms to combine, and that's our answer. So what we did is we did the composition of f of x and g of x. We just switched which one we did first. All right, let's go down to the bottom and let's do some practice. All right, let's start with g of a. Okay, so we're going to put an a right here and an a right here. So g of a equals a squared minus 9. So we're going to take that a squared minus 9 and we're going to substitute it into the f of x. So it's going to be f of a squared minus 9 equals I think I have room to put it over here. 2 times a squared minus 9, close parentheses, plus 5. So what I did is I inserted this a squared minus 9 right there in the f of x where the x is at. All right, so now I'm going to have to distribute. So that's going to be 2 a squared minus 18 plus 5. Combine like terms, 2 a squared minus 13. So that is your answer for that problem for letter A. We took G of A and we inserted that into the G of X problem and then we substituted that into the F of X problem. All right, let's look at the next one. We're going to take G of 2 because remember it's the closest, so that's the one we do first. We're going to substitute that 2 into 2 squared minus 9. Well, we know that's 4 minus 9, which is negative 5. We're going to take that negative 5 and put it into the f of x problem. So f of negative 5, that's what I'm inserting, that's my substitution, is going to be 2 times, we're going to insert the negative 5 where the x is, 2 times negative 5 plus 5. Making sure that's a plus sign. So it's going to be negative 10 plus 5, which is negative 5, and so that's our answer for B. Now I'm going through these kind of quickly because I'm trying to make sure I get it done within the 15 minute time span, and I'm trying to make good use of your time as well. So if you need to pause the video at any time, just pause it, rewind it, do what you need to do that works for you. All right, we're going to go to F of 2. So F of 2 means I'm going to insert the 2 into the f of x problem, so that's going to be 2 times 2 plus 5. We know that's 4 plus 5, which is 9. Now we're going to take that and plug that into the g of x. So g of 9 equals 9 squared minus 9. So that's 81 minus 9, which is 72. All right, so that's your answer for that one. All right, we're going to take the f of 2, we're going to insert it into the f of x, so that's going to be 2 times 2 plus 5, we know that's 9, because 4 plus 5 is 9, and then we're going to take that and plug it back into the same f of x problem, so f of 9 is going to be 2 times 9 plus 5, that's 18 plus 5, which is 23. All right, let's look at letter E. All right, we're going to do the f of negative 1. We're going to insert that into the f of x, so it's going to be 2 times negative 1 plus 5. I'm running out of room here, so you know that's negative 2 plus 5, which is 3. All right, we're going to plug that, what we just got, into the g of x. So g of 3 equals 3 squared minus 9. That's 9 minus 9, which is 0. So your answer for that one is 0. All right, we're going to do g of 0 first. I'm just going to go up a little bit. g of 0, I'm going to input 0 into 0 squared minus 9, so we know that's going to be negative 9. We're going to take that same negative 9 and insert it right back into the same g of x problem. So g of negative 9 is going to be negative 9 squared minus 9. 
So that's going to be 81 minus 9, which is 72. That probably sounds familiar because we already got one like that. All right, you guys, that is the end of 6-6, six, six, part 2, video 2. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to erase a little bit and write down your homework while I'm erasing. Um, I want to make sure you understand kind of how this works. You did a homework assignment for 6-6 six, six, part 1. After you watch two videos, you're going to do a homework assignment for 6-6 six, six, part 2. After watching two videos, this being the second video. And then when you get finished with that, the assignment that you're going to upload is going to be a worksheet. You will find that worksheet link on the web page it's going to be 6-6 worksheet you're only going to do the multiple choice items and this is the one that you're going to upload into focus now when you upload it you're going to take a picture of the page where you circled your multiple choice answers you're going to take a picture of the pages that you did your work and you're going to upload all three but make sure you did them in pen because I can read them better in pen. Make sure your name is on every page because this is gonna be counted as a grade. Some I'll count as a grade, some I'll just count as completion and you'll never know which, which way I'm gonna do it. Okay, so you gotta make sure that you do your homework for both sections before you do this worksheet because this worksheet, when you upload it, it's gonna be a grade. Now, when you take a picture of it, you've written everything in pen, you showed all your work, you put your name on every page. I need you to, um, upload it or save it first rather as a Word document or a PDF file because I'm having a hard time seeing just pictures. So I need a Word document or a PDF file. All right, your homework for this section is page 402 to 403. I think I just gave you seven problems. 27, 31, 33, 37, 65, 69, and 77. And I'll make sure that's posted up on my webpage as well. So this is day two. You should be done with taking notes on 6-6. Six, six. You should have watched four videos. At the end of this video, you should have done homework for part one. And now you're fixing to do homework for part two. And then your upload assignment is going to be a 6-6 six, six worksheet. You're only doing the multiple choice items. Please do it in pen. Please take a picture of them. Put your name on every page and make sure that you upload it as a document of some sort, whether it's Word or PDF. All right. Thanks, you guys. You're doing good. Keep on going on.